Hey everybody, it's your guy Silent again, bringing you another uh, stealth tutorial video. <clears throat> this one is going to be on uh, reverse proxies, uh, how to set them up. Um, I've had lots of people over the years ask about this and I about a month or two ago I finally decided to dive into it and figure out how to do it um, <clears throat> at first uh, it seemed it seemed really really overwhelming it seemed really really uh, it seemed complicated uh, a complex thing to do but to be honest once I figured it out it really actually isn't that hard at all um, so for this I'm gonna be using OVH uh, cloud OVH and uh, on a Ubuntu Linux system connecting to uh, it's gonna be my front end and my back end is gonna be uh, NFO Windows 2012 revision 2 so uh, I got a little tutorial I got uh, some stuff here so uh, if you don't know what a reverse proxy is just uh, watch this video it's really not that uh, it's really not that complicated once you have a good understanding better understanding of it uh, I even got a little diagram here too to to kinda give you a visual of how it works Stealth client, Nginx, the proxy, and then your backend server. Okay, so let's. Uh, um, there's an install guide, documentation, install Nginx. Uh, you will need root access if you're using OVH, or I'm sorry, any Linux. We don't necessarily have to log in as root. You just need to be able to access. Um, just need to be able to access uh, the correct files. Uh, if uh, you need to be able to access correct files as an administrator, so obviously, uh, so for the instructions, obviously, first thing you want to do is install Nginx. <coughs> I mean, you can. F it it pretty much says to do that in this guide here, but uh, it's the same thing. So just run these two commands. Run these two commands in the uh, window. Let me pull it up here. Yeah, it's already. I mean, I already. I already have it installed. So. Once you have it installed, you actually, if you, uh, if you go to, uh, you can confirm it. I had to look up some commands and stuff. Two things. Had to do stuff. Yeah. When you have it installed, it should look like that correctly. Okay, so then the next thing after you have it installed, we're gonna want to replace the nginx configure config file with the one I provided. You want to set up your uh, IP and ports in the config file, and it should be found in etx nginx folder. So you open it up in an Visual Code or some kind of notepad editor or whatever. Uh, there are mm, many, many different things you can do with Nginx. I am not going to go through all of them. There's too many to count. I highly recommend you to just research it to see what all you can do. But uh, basically, I've got I've got two samples here. One. Is what we're going to do this one today. Um, basically, it's going to basically uh, stealth, stealth server is going to connect to VPS on twenty port twenty five hundred. Add our uh, 
VPS is going to upstream stream our uh, information to my uh, server on port 7000. That's what we're going to do today. You can also run these locally as well. This is... I don't think you can put local host in here. You might be able to. Eh, don't do that. Just leave it like this. You can run it as locally as well. So, listen on port 600. And uh, the listener, you can have the listener listening on 995 or something like that. So, I'm pretty sure you, I'm pretty sure you get it. Uh, okay, so, once you get your port and... Once you got your information down, then you're going to go into, uh, going to find the folder, which is in ETC here. Usually it should be in there. Oh. Here. All right. So you can see, I've already made changes. Throw that in there. Just, just to make sure it's make, just to make sure it's in there again. <laughs> uh, all right. And then after that, let's see where we're at. Oh, uh, yeah. You're gonna need to restart it. Okay. Now, this technically shouldn't be showing. Well, I guess it is. If I, if I were you, I would, I would turn this off because you don't really, you don't need it for what we're gonna do. Yeah, I would turn this off. It should be off. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to open up your ports, too. That we're going to use. So we said uh, 2,500. I shouldn't have to use 7,000, just 2,500. I've already got it open on my cloud here. On my cloud here. Just make sure you do that, too. And then do it on here as well. Oh, uh, wow. <clears throat> I'm just going to do 7,000 because I'm paranoid. Okay. And then yes, all right, so go ahead and run that. Okay, this, just so you're aware, this might take me a few tries, so I apologize on that.
Also, my uh, Xbox uh, console companion is no longer working, so functioning or whatever. Uh, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna use pictures from the uh, Xbox neighborhood to to show you that it's connected. Gotta get myself one of those Elgados. Should have got one of those a long time ago. <clears throat> okay. I just want to show you what I mean by firewall. Okay, yeah, I got it loud. All right, so you can see that I am connected here. Uh, well, it's not showing my IP address on here, but um, when this connects, it's gonna show the VPS I the proxy IP address. So it's going to show connection from this address 5.512221516. <clears throat> okay, so hopefully this should work the first time around. Hopefully. for it to hopefully connect here all right there we go and there it is we are now successfully connected through a proxy a reverse proxy I am having a moment but uh, I'm having a I'm having like a brain fart moment right now because I for I actually forget the difference between a proxy and a reverse proxy. Um, there's not really a major difference. I don't, yeah, there's not really a major difference, just a few slight differences. Like instead of you like connecting to the internet through a proxy, you're you're actually connecting just to a to a single server if that makes sense through a proxy they also call the the proxy uh um a uh forward proxy crap i just okay i just it just i forgot to okay uh I forgot what that's called. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I'm really, really tired. I forgot to put the new stealth XCX here. And so when it connected, it thought it was, it marked it as outdated. So bad. Okay, let me, let me try this again. bad <laughs> Yeah, I can you you can obviously tell I am really tired. I just wanted to make this so I can get this out there. I, I've been sitting on this tutorial this for I've been sitting on wanting to do this tutorial for like uh, weeks uh, for weeks man.
try that again. But I mean, you can see <clears throat> it's connected with my IP right here. So again, I I put on the new I put on the new stealth client, so it should connect with through the the proxy this time. For those of you that haven't picked up on what I'm doing here, this is legitimately hiding your IP address is what it's doing. You can also do this with uh, the XML files as well. If you wanted to run those through a reverse proxy, you can. I run yeah, you technically could do that. I'm always telling people not to use their actual IP address when they have an, when they use XMLs, rather to just use a um, to use a DNS DNS address and make sure it's ran through a firewall or something different. Alright, so, yeah, see, there it is. There's a, uh, there's a number of things you could, you could possibly do, you could possibly do with this, uh, just, just test it, just play with it, test around, um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I hope you I hope you found this uh, video uh, this tutorial useful. Uh, I'm pretty sure some people will. I I doubt a lot of people know that you can actually do this. All right. Uh,